math. It's one of the most intimidating subjects to tackle for many homeschoolers. I have found a curriculum that the kids love because it's online instead of a workbook. And I love it because I don't have to teach math. Boom, done. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm a homeschooling mom of four kids ages 3 to 11. We are just about to finish up our sixth year of homeschooling. And on this channel, The Eclectic Homeschooler, it's all about homeschooling. So I love to share videos that are like this one with some curriculum reviews, but I also like to share tips and tricks and things that I've learned over my six years of homeschooling in hopes that it'll help you find more joy and more peace and um, just really love this journey of homeschooling. So let's jump right in. We've been using teaching textbooks for our homeschool math for the last three years. We started out using a more traditional program that had workbooks and a teacher's guide, and I had to teach every new concept as we went through the curriculum. That wasn't really a huge deal with early elementary math. However, as our kids are starting to get a little bit older, and we have more of them now that I am teaching, it's a little bit more of a challenge to get it all done using a traditional approach. Not to mention the fact that all of my kids hate workbooks and busy work. Anyone else struggle with this? Let me know in the comments below if this is your family too. Teaching Textbooks is an online subscription-based math curriculum. The lectures and the lessons are all completed online, so you don't have to teach anything. You just have to be available to answer questions if your child needs a little bit of help. I love that. Hit that like button below if you would like a math curriculum that you don't have to teach as well. It's a game changer. This program makes learning math fun and feel a little bit more like a game to our kids than going through a dull workbook and doing endless worksheets. There are a few things that they could do a little bit better, and I'll talk about that at the end, but mostly we really, really like this program. So let me give you a quick rundown of how this works, and I'll also let you look inside as well so you can see it for yourself. To get started, you pay a subscription fee to use the level of your choice for 12 months. All of the individual levels are between about $45 to $70 each, which is pretty reasonably priced, but if you have four children or more that are all using a subscription, they cap the total cost at just under $200, no matter how many extra children you have. So this makes it very, very affordable for large families to use this program. They have levels going from math three all the way up to pre-calculus. I personally feel like the levels are about one grade level behind what kids would be learning in public school at that age level. So to compensate, our kids just do one level up higher than what their school year is. And even then, often they have a few questions at their end of the year standardized testing that they do that still hasn't been covered by the curriculum. They still have been able to score average or above average on all of their testing that they've done. So keep that in mind as you choose the level that you're going to pick for your child. And Teaching Textbooks does have a free trial that you can do on their website where you can test the first 15 lessons of each level. Oftentimes, uh, the first 15 to 20 lessons are a lot of review from previous lessons, but it gives you a good idea of how the program works. So once you pay for your subscription, you as the parent sign in and create your account, as well as your children each have their own individual account to log in. Each child uses that login to access their math curriculum. And you can also access all of your children's lessons and your grade book from the parent portal. From there, you can choose settings like if you want to allow hints or second tries on their answers if they get some, something wrong. You can also view and print your students' grades and make changes to their scores if you need to. Now, I've only done this once or twice when my child accidentally hit the wrong number, but his scratch paper clearly showed that he had gotten the correct answer. But that is there if you need it. You can also contact teaching textbooks directly from here if you need to. Now, once your child logs in, they select the lesson that they need to do. All of their lessons that are completed are marked with a C so they can easily see which ne lesson is next. 
In each lesson, there's a short lecture with a group of practice questions, and then also around 22 or so regular questions for each lesson. The lectures are done in a spiral or review type of approach, meaning that the concepts covered gradually build more complexity mixed with concepts from previous lessons. So every time they log in, they're doing some problems that review previously taught concepts, as well as doing going more in depth on one new type of problem. The program reads out the questions to you as you go through the lesson. In this problem, you need to divide 97 by 8 using long division and type the remainder into the extra box. But you can choose to turn that audio off if you don't want to. If you have chosen to allow second chances for the problems, when they get it incorrect on their first try, it'll mark the problem with an I and then tell them that they can try again. If they get it wrong again, it'll mark it with a red X, meaning it's incorrect. Then here's the really cool thing. It gives you the option to walk through step by step on how to solve the problem so they know how to do it the next time. Nice try. Click yes to see how to do it. Here we have the fraction 18 21st and we're going to divide the top and bottom by 3. So on top, 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So 6 will go on the top of the fraction. Now on bottom, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So put 7 on the bottom. I personally really like the second chance feature. I tell my kids generally to go do their math and they go through and try their first try on every single problem before they come ask me for help. And then if they get anything wrong, we go back and I help walk them through step by step how they should solve that problem so they, they can get it correct and know how to solve future problems that are the same type of concept. The program is set up with a combination of lessons and quizzes adding up to a full year's math curriculum. Most of the levels have fewer lessons than the number of days that were required to teach in our school year. So this makes it really easy if your family only does school four days a week, you can still finish the curriculum in your school year and not have to double up days. Or if you want to still do math five days a week, it makes it easy to supplement with outside materials if you need to work on some flashcards or some math games or other types of activities, you can easily fit that in. I really like that teaching textbooks does all of the grading for each lesson, so I don't have to do it. It saves it all right there and I can print out my students' grades and then file it away in their folder for the year. The kids like that the lectures are interactive. They ask them questions while they're in the midst of the lecture. How long is this pencil? Before you answer, let me give you a hint. It's a mixed number. So it keeps them engaged instead of just sitting and listening to someone talk. Great. The program also has characters that they call buddies that the kids really like. They can choose which buddy they want by clicking on the character and it'll rotate through, or they can go into the settings and choose which one they want. Periodically, the buddy will say encouraging things like, were you born this smart? Or, you got it. On some difficult problems, it also think, say things like, Time out for a hint. And then they can click on the hint if they need it. They also like the sounds and the phrases that the buddies say and get a laugh out of some of the story problem questions that come up in the lessons. They also can choose to select from a handful of different wallpapers to customize the look of the screen and whether or not they want those buddy sounds. Now for a couple of things that we didn't like as much. The 3.0 version, the one that's currently available, is a flash-based program, which a lot of web browsers block. It took me a while to figure out how to unblock it on our Mac in order to be able to use this program. Even after unblocking it, it will often be blocked again the next time we log in. So it's kind of clunky to have to work around that. But really it's pretty easy once you know how to do that. In Chrome, you can click on the lock icon right next to the web address, select flash and choose allow, and then refresh your screen. I do believe that they're working on updating it so as not to use flash and I'm really looking forward to the updated version. But really, it's not a deal breaker for me. Number two, the levels, like I mentioned earlier, are below grade level. So you just need to know that going into it, that you wanna choose one level higher, most likely than what your child is, would be in school. So it's not really that big of a deal, as long as you are aware of that when you're going into it. Number three, the wallpapers are pretty outdated and the graphics too could use some serious revamping. Some of the buddies are a little bit annoying, but really that's just personal preference and it really doesn't affect the quality of the lessons. 
Overall, we really like the teaching textbooks curriculum and we plan on continuing with it next year. I'd love to hear from you though. What do you use for math? Have you tried teaching textbooks or do you use something different that you love? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested in hearing what other people use. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was able to help you decide whether or not to try out teaching textbooks for your kids. Please give me a thumbs up below if you enjoyed this video and make sure to, su to subscribe for more videos just like this. Let me know if you like these curriculum reviews and if so, what other types of subjects you would like to hear some reviews on. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.